guys, it's Rebecca. So, come here, Taz. Do you want to be on camera? Come here. You want to be on camera? Come here. Taz wants to say hi. Say hi, Taz. Thank you for the kiss, baby. Um, so I had, it's another drink with, with Rebecca. I know I'm a hypocrite because I said that I would quit Diet Coke, but I went to Wendy's uh, and I got a Diet Coke and I got a giant Diet Coke, so I'm cheating. It's like, it's like the alcoholic that said, oh, I'm only going to drink some of the time, so... Or I'll, I'll only have like one or two drinks. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll have Diet Cokes uh, when I go to fast food or when I uh, uh, go out to eat or something like that, which, is, which isn't often. So it's I'm still cutting it out of my diet. I'm all done up today. Uh, don't I look nice and wonderful? This is how I look showered and uh, with makeup on. I know you haven't seen that in a while. Um, I had a job interview today uh, for this place where I work with uh, people with intellectual disabilities, um, and uh, I think it's called in-home support workers. Uh, so I would be going to these clients' houses and be working with them either in their home or I would take them out, and maybe we'd go to the movies or go say there's a Groupon to go to a pottery class, then we'd go to the pottery class or, or uh, you know, get our nails done or, or something like that. And um, so I got the job. She, she said right off the bat, you know, you're hired. But um, I don't get, I don't start working yet. I have to uh, get my transcript. I have to um, do the FBI background check um, since you're since this job is so serious and you're working with people with intellectual disabilities. They want to make sure that you have a clean record and that you're not uh, some criminal. Um, so uh, I mean, th the list of 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 criminal activities that, uh, that, that are not allowed. It was a really long list and it started with like murder one. And I was like, no, no I, didn't, I didn't rape anyone. I didn't, uh, steal anything. And, but then in the back it was, it was stuff like fraud and stuff like that. But it makes sense because you're going into people's homes and you're entrusted with these, with these pe people that are, uh, vulnerable. So they want to make sure that, that uh, you aren't someone that's going to come in and take advantage of them, which makes total sense. They want to be protective of these people. Um, so, uh, but I have to do the background check, uh, get my transcripts, and um, do fingerprinting, and um, have to do the orientation. So they have to train me. Uh, but they said I would, I should get to do the training by March 7th. So, and it's a week long, uh, training, but, um, so hopefully I'll be working by March. So, woo! Uh, second thing, let me take a sip of my Diet Coke. Second thing that I got in the mail today is the Urban Decay Vice LTD palette, Vice LTD Reloaded palette. Uh, I told you in my make in my uh, makeup companies that don't test on animals video um, that Urban Decay does not test on animals. Um, so I got this, and I decided to get this uh, when I saw X Sparkage. Uh, her video um, uh, about the uh, LCD Reloaded palette. 
uh, what it is is it's uh, it's got XX, so it's the it's a palette uh, celebrating 20 years of Urban Decay. So it's so a lot of the colors are kind of um, oh, there's me. Uh, it are kind of um, throwbacks to um, like earlier colors, like uh, Roach. Or, I mean, uh, Gash. Oil slick. Uh, they have smog, which was in the original Urban Decay Naked palette. Um, uh, what is another one? I think Twice Baked. Midnight Cowboy is another color that they've had like since the OG days. Um, so yes, the Urban Decay. Vice LTD Reloaded palette, and I'm so excited to play with this. I actually have a color on right now. My my base, what I had as my base and everything is, no one talks about this, but it was the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette, and it's the, it's a makeup kit to get the look of uh, Mia Wallace from uh, Pulp Fiction. But I love it because it has no glitters or no. It's all matte colors, so I use it to get a really nice, defined, but no matte look. Uh, so I usually I use it on days where I want to look professional. Um, this is all that I, I use um, to get that look. But... Um, and it's this is an awesome palette. If it's still around, get this palette because it's it's it has. I can't tell if that's a shimmery white. Is that shimmery white? No, that's a straight white. Uh, it has a, a a light cream color which I use as an all over color. It has a, a medium uh, brown. It has a really dark brown, it has a black, and it has a white. So you're getting the basis of a really good, simple eye look. So if this is still around, definitely grab it. It's so good uh, when you're traveling for like two days and you need something that's that's not big and bulky. You just grab this tiny baby and a few eyeshadow brushes and you're good to go. Um, but um, since I'm having a date tonight, I on my eyelid I threw Moonflower, this one right there. Uh, I th I threw Moonflower on my lid, and it's it's a orangey. It's an orangey shimmer. So I liked it. It looks pretty good on my lids. Can you see? I know this webcam is not good for uh, makeup and stuff like that. So, um, what time is it? I've done eight minutes. Um, also, another product that I'm getting in the mail, which is so exciting, and I'm one of the reasons I'm excited is that it's a makeup company that I forgot to mention on my uh, companies that don't test on animals video. Um, uh, because I don't have any of their products and I ordered something from their website and I'm going to have my first product from them and it's Benefit Cosmetics. Uh, Benefit Cosmetics does not test on animals and I, I got their Benefit High Beam. So it's going to be my first highlighter that I own and I'm going to use it and I'm really, really excited about it. Um. Sorry, my nose was running. Um, so, uh, for those people, for the makeup people out there, um, I, I will, I'll do a review on Benefit High Beam as, as owning my first, uh, highlighter. It's going to be my first experience with highlighting, so I'm very, very excited. Just do it on the cheeks, maybe a little in the forehead, but down the nose. Cupid's bow, you know, be all good. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, 
and high beam is a great color for fair skin. So uh, Benefit Cosmetics, Urban Decay, both don't test on animals, both awesome in my book. Um, so yeah, I guess that's everything that I wanted to talk about it. and oh, we are under 10 minutes. Wow, I didn't ramble as much as I usually do. I love you so, so much, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Mwah.